I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose is to test your instincts. We're going to create a mock Charleston and deal ourselves tiles, and then we're going to pick a plan A and a plan B. And we'll do the exercise two times with the exact same tiles in order, and then compare results. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer in name only for this exercise. So we'll get 14 tiles. I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers, and then we'll pick a plan A and a plan B and do the exercise two times with the same tiles. Flower, Northwest, White Dragon, four, six, seven in dots, six, seven in cracks, two, three, four, nine in bams with a pair of twos. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A and what would be your plan B? If these were my tiles, I would start with the twos. Two, three, four consecutive run, so I'd keep consecutive tiles. So probably consecutive run for plan A. Plan B, maybe a year hand. So let's take a photo of this startup. And then we'll do the chain reaction. So two, three, four, two, three, four. There is a wind hand that uses a run. Let's pass nine, six, seven. There's our first pass. So we're going to take a photo. We've got a three, a new multiple, two, three. Here's a five, two, three, four, five. Let's pass these three. Let's take a photo. We have an east, east, west with a run. Maybe let the north go and pass two, four, north. No keepers. Let's take a photo, though. We do have a pair of threes here. Two, three, four, five is stronger. I would break it up. Take a photo. I'd probably keep the dragons because maybe we could play the, one of the dragon hands, second hand down. Let's pass these three. We've got a two bam. Six, seven. I would probably let these wins go but I wouldn't pass two. And I don't think that I would pass a six, seven, two, three, four, five. I think I would let that dragon go. Maybe do the seven first, more on the edge. Whoa. Pair eight. I wouldn't be distracted by that because we have a pung of twos and a pair of threes. I would break it up. Pass those three. I 
Okay, we got the dragon back. Four discards, options, two, three, four, flower. I would say we're an underdog for this one, but we have a couple of hands with no gaps. Two, three, four, flower. We could also do two, three, four, dragon, second hand down. We'd have to throw this away and this. I probably would let the dragons go and focus on two, three, four, leverage the pung. Okay, so now let's reset and see if a year hand would have been better with these tiles. That's what we started with. Let's see if a year hand comes in. We'll just keep all year tiles and pass. Let's say nine, seven with a six. Let's see, let's do a three. So we have two groups of one of each suit. No year tiles. There's a pair of nines. A lot of three, six, nine, it seems. Let's see, let's pass seven, three, five. A two, that's a year tile. And here's an east. Let's break up the nine. A two. That's a keeper, year tile. And we'll pass these three, a little bit risky. South, discards. Okay, we have news and we have a year block right here. You know what we could do? We could play the big year hand, news. We need north, south, two dot, white dragon. Let's pass these three. Two bam. I don't think we need it though. Even for the concealed hand, we only need a year block. So let's let that go. Pair eight. I would pass those and stick with what we have here. Pass two. Okay, so we have three discards, really four, and two hands with no gaps. We could do the big ear hand under singles and pairs. We could also maybe do the news year hand concealed. Either way, we have a lot of discards. I'd say we could maybe be a contender for the pair hand but we need another white dragon and a two dot and then north south. Let me know what you think about plan A, plan B. If you would have done something differently, write in the comment section below your plan A and your plan B. And even redo this exercise with your own tiles at home if you had some different ideas and let me know what happens. American Mahjong is a flexible game. So if you have a plan A and a plan B, gather for both as long as you can. If you minimize your exposures, you're gonna to continue to have flexibility. So try to focus on the strength of the hand, whether you have just a plan A or maybe a plan A and a plan B and gather. When you have only tiles within the category that you're considering, that's when you would actually pick a hand. Let the weaker option go and then continue to gather for your strongest option. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, May all your picks be keepers.